hello guys welcome back again today we will talk about our first component which is the activity so what is an activity well activity is like a screen or page as we discussed in our last video it basically represents the ui or user interface to handle the user interactions and it consists of two layers front end and back end where xml is used as the front end and java or kotlin is used as its backend language suppose you open an app suppose play store app which is the most common application that every android phone has so if you open that app what will you see then a home screen or page whatever you supposed to say but the fact is that screen is actually an activity in which you can see a list of applications or games so if you tap on any one of those apps or games you will see another screen or activity that comes with some details of that particular app or game and that is also an activity and rest of the things are just a few different types of views such as image views text views and button and i think you got the basic idea of the activity did you get it let me know in the comment section anyway now we will observe this activity component closely so let's jump into the android studio all right now we will begin by creating a fresh project as you can see on the screen a big window popped up so basically here we have to choose the right platform in which we are interested in like you can develop an app for watches or for the tv or even for the car but we are interested in this tab phone and tablet here all we have is just a few activity templates so we have no activity if we select this option and create our project that means we are actually creating an absolutely empty project but if you want that your app should have at least one screen nothing else then you should choose this empty activity or this basic activity although it comes with a floating button anyway i'm going to select this empty activity then next now here let's specify the project name um, let's say hello world then package name this is the another important thing which must be unique if you are really willing to publish your app on the play store anyway i'm going to leave this as it is however there will be a separate video on this topic that how the package name should be save location you know this this is where this project is going to save then here you can choose your preferred programming language java or kotlin next is minimum sdk if i click here you can see all the android operating systems are listed from api 16 to api 30 so minimum sdk is the version of the android operating system required to run your application then make sure this checkbox is unchecked because the android support library has been upgraded to android x anyway click finish now it will take a little while to sync the project okay this project has been synced now and here you can see our first activity called main activity activity should also have a ui portion so here it is called activity main.xml okay now let me show you where these files are located so our main activity.java is actually located here under the app java then the package name and this is where we can create all the necessary java files to write our backend code so basically this main activity class inherits the activity class using app compare activity class and this app compare activity class should extend the activity class directly or indirectly now remember this main activity class is responsible for creating the entire screen of the activity and this is done by just one single line set content view 
then we have to pass a view like this activity main.xml file has been referred here so this r is representing this rest directory then layout means this layout directory then the file name simple therefore whenever this activity gets launched this on create function will be fired up and creates the view not only this particular on create function gets called while activity creation but there are also few more such as on resume on pause on destroy and so on these are actually activity life cycle methods which will be explained in the next video soon after this one although i have written an article on this topic activity life cycle so if you are interested to explore more then always welcome to read that article anyway let's talk a little bit about the front end area so in this xml we can design the layout just do drag and drop you can add buttons images text and many other things although i have discussed about the button widgets if you haven't seen that playlist then please go and check that out anyway now i'm going to drive you towards the manifest folder let's open this android manifest file now here as you can see inside the application tag our main activity class has been bound using activity tag so this is important to keep in your mind is no matter how many activities have you been created all the activities must have to bind in the manifest and this intent filter is used to launch the activity where the action name is android.intent.action.main and the category name is android.intent.category.launcher so now if you are thinking to create an activity then simply create a layout file first then create a java file also then extend with the activity class or app compat activity class then override the on create method and link the layout file using set content view finally bind that activity in this manifest also but we will see the easiest way to create an activity okay so just right click on any one of these folder then new activity and these are some activity templates so i'm going to create an empty activity for now let's call it um, second activity then make sure this checkbox is checked to generate the layout file then i am going to leave this checkbox as it is because i don't want to use this activity as a launcher activity anyway now select the language then finish and Android studio will set things up automatically for us as you can see now these two files have been created also if i show you the manifest file you can see the second activity is also mentioned here now i'm going to build this project and run it on my emulator as you can see guys our app is running and this entire screen is our activity although you know all this but why is it that this main activity is visible not the second activity because in the manifest we have added this intent filter tag to launch the activity so yes we can move this intent filter from here let's cut it and paste inside this second activity tag so if we build this project now you will see this second activity screen gets visible whenever we launch the application let's see as you can see an empty white screen which is our second activity 
so i think you can create your own activity and launch in the beginning in the next video we will discuss about activity life cycle which is also very important to understand the concept of activity life cycle so yeah that's it for today thank you so much for watching guys and spending some times with me here on the daily coding tutorial channel if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comment section and if you feel this video helped you a little bit hit the like button share with your friends and also do subscribe for more contents thanks again for watching see you soon in the next one